I'm going to be changing the serpentine belt tensioner on the 2000 Dodge Ram 1500. It's got the 5.9. Um, that's your guy right there. This one's really shot. The bearings are shot and it doesn't have much tension. I'm using this Gates replacement. That's the part number. And we'll get to it. Okay, first thing I like to do, um, if you're not replacing the belt, which I'm not, I just like to put a little duct tape on the pulleys, uh, on the top one, and then the, on the bottom one I just wrapped around. That way the belt doesn't just completely fall off. It's not the end of the world. There is a belt diagram, so that's nice. But I just don't want to deal with it. So I got a 15 millimeter uh, socket on here and I'm going to go clockwise and you're going to want to get all the slack off the belt and slide the belt off. Okay, I got the belt slid off. Note that the tape's holding it on there and it's just loose and that's what we want. It looks like to get this guy off, um, you got to take off this bracket. Um, so, I think I'm just going to disconnect this coil wire and this connector here. And then go ahead and uh, try to remove this bracket. So, I'm going to disconnect this uh, connector down here on the coil. Just push, squeeze, pull that out of the way. The coil wire should come out of the way. Um... Yeah, this wire, I think you can just wiggle it out of there. And then there's a bolt here. Uh, it appears to be a 9 16 And then there's one below down here. Just loosen this one, which I already did. And then you remove this one, which I already loosened it. But it, it came out pretty easy, so hopefully you don't have any problems. So you pull that guy out, and then that that just flops aside, and then it looks like we can get right to that um, 15 millimeter box wrench is what I'm going to use. On there with my wrench, and I already loosened it, it wasn't that tight, and then you just back it off, and then at some point hopefully you can just spin it free with your fingers. So I got these guys out side by side. They seem to match up. Um, these have a single bolt with a, with a tab that goes into oh, drop something. It goes into a slot here, which it it won't focus. So you just have to believe me. There it goes. Um, another thing I wanted to just show you that this guy. Pretty shot. The new one, nice and tight. Then you just uh, reinstall it, line up that, that blurry slot I was trying to show you. If it's not lined up, the single sit crooked, it has to be in there, just like that. And then put your nut back on, tighten it, and uh, we'll go to the next step. Okay, then you just swing your coil uh, assembly back up and put your bolt back in. Don't forget to tighten the bolt down here. And then put your coil wire and this other wire and connector on. Uh, this wire wants to go through here on this side. So route it through there and then back plugged in. So I got my coil uh, bracket bolts tight, this one and the one down here. Uh, coil wires back in place um, the way it should be. This wire and connector is also in place. Um, when you're putting the belt on, it's a little bit more tricky. So I have uh, my 15 millimeter box wrench on the nut, but the belt is um, it's threaded through the belt because when you tighten it, you're going to be running into the belt if you're on the outside. So um, 
lucky for me, I'm not going to film it because I lost my tripod and I can't do, I need a couple extra hands. So you'll just have to believe me. You just go clockwise and pop the belt on and uh, should be good to go. And that's it. It was easy. I just went from here uh, back here and just tighten that and I was able to pop the, the belt back on. It wasn't bad at all. So that's how you do it on a 5.9 Dodge 2000. Um, I'm sure it's the same on the 5.2, but I can't say for sure. So I guess I'm not sure. Uh, don't forget to take off your duct tape if you used it. If you didn't, whatever. Maybe it's stupid. But uh, there you go.